The strangest NFL moments can happen to any team, even great teams. The 1999 Jacksonville Jaguars was not just a good team, they were a great team. Maybe they would have been the greatest team ever if it wasn't for another franchise. 90 Sports Nostalgia presents The Strangest NFL Moments, the 1999 Jacksonville Jaguars. And don't forget if you like this video, to subscribe, give us a like, and check out more 90 Sports Nostalgia material. The Jacksonville Jaguars inaugural season was in 1995, and it was head coach Tom Coughlin who guided the Sunshine State's youngest team to heights few could have ever imagined. After a 4-12 campaign in 1995, the Jaguars gradually improved each season from 1996 to 1998. This three-year period consisted of three playoff berths, including an AFC Championship game appearance. Enter the 1999 season. With John Elway retiring from the Denver Broncos, the New England Patriots under Pete Carroll slowly declining, the New York Jets under Bill Parcells getting older, and the Pittsburgh Steelers having issues on offense and not quite living up to their physical identity, Jacksonville seemed like a popular choice to win the AFC and go to the Super Bowl. What made the 1999 Jaguars special was that the majority of the players were in their prime and they all had talent at every level on offense and defense. Quarterback Mark Burnell was one of the best quarterbacks in the game, although his 1999 season was not one of his best seasons. Fred Taylor was a young running back destined for greatness with a rare combination of speed, lateral mobility, and power. The wide receiver duo of Jimmy Smith and Keenan McCardle was arguably the best wide receiver duo in the NFL at the time. And the offensive line was anchored by all-pro left tackle Tony Baselli. Then on the defensive side of the ball, Tony Bradkins was one of the most explosive pass rushers in the game, and Gary Walker was a highly valuable defensive tackle. Furthermore, Kevin Hardy was an extremely talented all-pro linebacker, and Jacksonville's secondary was arguably the best secondary in the NFL at the time, which was led by Pro Bowl safety Carnell Lake. The 1999 season began with dominance for the Jaguars, with a 41-3 victory over the San Francisco 49ers, followed by a win at Carolina. Unfortunately, a loss ensued the following week to the Tennessee Titans, who were led by Neil O'Donnell. Yes, that Neil O'Donnell. But the Tennessee Titans' Neil O'Donnell, who was playing in place of the injured Steve McNair, led the Titans to a 20-19 road victory. What's remarkable about this win was that the somewhat past-challenged Titans were down by 10 points in the fourth quarter and came back to win. This was at a time when comebacks were much tougher because the passing game was far from being as advanced as it is today, and the referees were not enforcing illegal contact after 5 yards back then. But Jacksonville rebounded nicely by winning their next 11 games. Then on Sunday, December 26th in Nashville, Steve McNair was healthy and starting at quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. A quick point to make here, 1999 was Steve McNair's fifth season in the NFL, and he was still not a polished and developed passer at this time. However, with no way to explain this craziness, McNair went 23-33 for 291 yards while throwing for 5 touchdowns leading the Titans to a 41-14 victory over Jacksonville. The Jaguars finished a regular season with the win over the Bengals, clinching the top seed in the AFC playoffs. Jacksonville's first playoff game was in the division round and postseason dominance that has never been seen before during the Super Bowl era transpired. A 62-7 victory over the Miami Dolphins was quite the beating. This was also Dan Marino's last game in the NFL and Jimmy Johnson's last game as coach. As a result from this overwhelming performance, the Jaguars are set to face the Tennessee Titans once again with the winner going to the Super Bowl. The Titans advance thanks to the Music City Miracle and the pressured defense on the road against Peyton Manning who was playing in his first playoff game. Clichés should never be taken seriously because they are simple phrases spoken to make someone feel smart and their opinion has no value with any cliché. The cliché that it's hard to beat a team three times was far from being the case here and definitely had no value. The 1999 Jacksonville Jaguars in total had 15 wins and 3 losses. Well let me restate that again. The Jacksonville Jaguars in 1999 went 0-3 against the Tennessee Titans but 15-0 against everyone else. The 1999 Jacksonville Jaguars is the only team to lose to one team three times in a season and go undefeated against everyone else. Strangest NFL Moments, the 1999 Jacksonville Jaguars. 